That smells divine. The realm within, Doc to Madame Ping. And yeah, sorry about my stomach growling. I'm, there is actually a guy in the daily quest that's like this, who stomach growls like while you're talking to him. And he's like, I'm sorry, I have to eat more than most people. That is me. That is literally me. I have to eat a ridiculous amount of calories in a day. Otherwise this happens. The funny thing is, is that I'm only like... 120 pounds. I just have a metabolism that burns hot as hellfire. How much is that in kilograms? Let us see. Uh, I, rabbit. I might actually take a quick break for food, like a five minute break. Anywho. Yeah, I tried to eat as quick as possible, but <laughs> when I'm done, I'll go and make like a tuna sandwich or something. Here, Madame Ping, that's right. That's what we were doing. Uh, all things must change. Are you all right? Uh, it's nothing, it's nothing. I just thought it a great shame that so many of these glazed lilies have wilted. What happened to them? Back in my day, People said that glazed lilies can read human hearts. Well, it probably doesn't help that I've been picking them constantly. If they heard beautiful sounds like laughter and singing, they would also bloom joyfully. But if they heard too much wild gossip or slander, they would quickly wither away. Well, that means they're extinct in the modern era. Oh, you gotta go? Well, have a good day, ugly unicorn. Have a good sleep. So that means these flowers feel what's happening in Leland? Yes. The rumors of Rex Lapis's death are no small matter. They are everywhere. Some say it was a Fatui plot. Others say that the Chising made it all up. And still others think that... That which lies in the deep is breaking free. Sounds like you're the one who's gossiping around them, Granny. This harbor is like a mountain of dry tinder. One spark, and the fire will consume us all. Okay, have a good day, you two. Well, I shall say no more. This old woman's grown too old and naggy. Did you have something to say, youngster? Uh, we'd like to borrow the cleansing bell. Ah, that old trinket. <laughs> I remember it being here with me, but I've grown old. <laughs> I can't quite recall where it is exactly. An old friend of mine used to wear it on his person. Back when I was young, he saw me gazing at it often and gave it to me. But he told me then that if someone should come to borrow that bell, I should not be loath to part with it. It has been many years, and who knows how many times someone has come to borrow this bell. Still, though, I can't recall when it started. It's been a long time since anyone has come to borrow it. Oh, these old bones are so slow to look for things. I doubt you can wait that long. That's right, Granny. We'll follow you back home and search for it ourselves. And, um, we can help with chores if you have any, too. All right, children. There is no need to worry. I didn't place the bell very far away. Uh, do you live near here, Granny? Oh. But this is Eugene Paris. It's gotta be expensive. Oh, an old lady like me can't afford to buy a place in this city. See this ceramic teapot? My entire household is in here. What? How does that work? It contains your house keys, the Bellas, all you own? 
It is. And even if it was like that, it must be a very expensive bell, right, Granny? Oh, youngsters. I simply mean that the bell is somewhere inside this teapot, and you are quite welcome to borrow it. If you can find it. This granny is so weird. What does she mean her whole household is in here? Is she playing with us? Aren't you youngsters in a hurry to find that bell? Hop to it then. But be careful. I haven't cleaned this place up in a long time. If you were to get dirt on your beautiful clothes, it would take some work to clean up. How filthy is it? I feel like this is a genie in a bottle scenario. We're going to touch it and go in. Also, what happens if somebody knocks it over? Or like, what happens if somebody steals it and when you pop back out, you're like in somebody else's house? Uh Where are we? What just happened? Pardon me, Paimon. Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa! That sounds like Granny's voice. So this is her teapot? Apparently, yeah. What's going on? Granny, you need to clean. Oh, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. It seems like you can't even get past the front door, honey. Please help an old lady clean up. Oh my god. <clears throat> slimes. So many slimes. And I have two electric characters. I didn't know what element this dungeon would be. Oh, that's not ready yet. Dang it. Would this even hurt them? One way to find out. Nope. Doesn't do anything at all. Well, if there's no timer, I'll just let my teddy bear take care of most of everything. Also, we raid Granny's groceries, apparently. She lives in some sort of magic dungeon. things in real life so no 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 damn it oh can i get back up i don't know i don't think you can climb in here the climb mechanic is disabled inside dungeons just let me go i didn't mean to fall off i wanted to burn the vines and see if anything happened but i fell instead Sometimes treasure's chests and stuff appear, but I guess this time, no. This better not be timed. You know, with such a special teapot and the cleansing bell, do you think this old granny could also be an adeptus? It wouldn't surprise me at this point. Oh, almost fell off. Patience. Paimon's more and more convinced that she's an adeptus. But don't they all live in Killian Park? Why would she stay in the city? 
better rent prices? Heck if I know, Paimon! Maybe because she wants to be close to her people, actually keep an eye on things? Really see what happened to Rex, Lapis? Darn it. No, aim this way! Why are you not aiming this way? Fine, I shall shoot the damn thing. Official. Secret Adeptus, you cannot spot them all. <laughs> Some of them do catch you off guard. I mean, there was one back at the inn, too. But we had to feed a salad. Get come for the ice! Oh, I've never seen this before! I've never seen that move. Yeah, stuff in here is level dug on it. 49, so it probably did expect me to level up a bit further. But oh well. Yeah, and the triangle, what's up with that? I've never seen some of these moves before. Okay, good, this does damage it. It's not purely elemental. Oh my god, can we, like, actually hit it, please? I have shock inflicted on me, so it keeps interrupting my attacks. And now hers is charged, but I'm too potentially close to the end of this round to finish it. Maybe if there's another one. Probably will be, considering... Scooter. Hmm. Nothing over here. Yes, there is. Sequits. And like I said, these treasure chests don't count for the overall total for the trophy. So if you miss them, it's not a big deal. They're only here to give you just a little extra experience. Uh, how many levels does this teapot have? It would be nice if we had one of these too. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. I guess that kind of answers this question, that we really are camping outside. So many games kind of just ignore that question. For some reason I thought this was going to be round. Oh, you found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me... Alright, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. In and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. There we go. I hadn't loaded in yet. Are you an adeptus, ma'am? Are you one of the Liwei Qingxing? An adeptus? Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ah, uh, kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. 
Niwa Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the rite of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? What if your friend doesn't return it? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. It's bigger on the inside. The TARDIS teapot. Realm within. Put the cleansing bell into place. I keep seeing this flower back here in the cutscene. And it's like, I want to pick it. Please. Or these lotus heads. They're so valuable in some of the dishes that you can make. Meat's the most valuable thing. The Adeptus temptation, but... You can literally send characters out questing for lotus heads. They're so important. So I like to grab them. More silk flowers. Which my main uses to ascend... I'm sorry, I can't just keep staring at them. In the background, I must have them. They respawn daily. But only in small locations like this one. May the Lord of Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. Uh, do you know Madame Ping? Are you also an adeptus? An adeptus? Hmm. That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes, that old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparation? So what happens if you serve tea out of that teapot? Like, do you accidentally flood the entire domain and you wind up with little teeny tiny possessions in your tea? Hmm. Next, we need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay, kite merchant, talk to them before downtown. Woo! Flying on downtown. Let's fly a kite. Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes. Thank you. 
It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. So he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. That's one way of putting it. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. Fashion, economics, jewelry, and jade pottery. Tea, perfumes, flora, and fauna. <laughs> he seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well. But he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. Ah, so someone does not like Venti. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before! Huh? The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. Hmm. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom in the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon once. <sighs> yes. These details are masterfully done. Uh, the Cryo Archon does what? It does what, Zhongli? <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... As for the payment, he says. Well, allow me. Hey, it's Child! Did you arrange to meet here? <laughs> no, I was merely passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li is the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money, and about the trials of the common man, he just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps, you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The right of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the lighting changed it made his eyes look like they were glowing. <laughs> hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time. A huge bag of mora. Funds provided by child. The sense of stability one gets from its weight. <laughs> huge bag of mora. 50,000. Uh, where are they? Over here? They must be in the street. Okay, here's one. Toe? Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurer's Guild. 
I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. pre adventure we have need for five crystal flies. That, that's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Nah, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. Uh, let's negotiate. Oh, you know, I should probably actually look this up. You get to barter the workers, which is your best option, as you can keep any leftover more that's in the bag after you're done. Barter are doing so much RNG, and the amount you can go for changes based on their mood. Roughly the lowest amount you can negotiate for based on player testing is about 8,000 for total. If you don't have enough money, you'll have to obtain the following items. A lotus head, a jingxing, and an ore. Which kind? Question mark? Oh, this isn't done. So, I'll just lower it down a bit. It said for toe, 73. Oh my god, using a controller for this sucks. Ah, uh, using a controller for this sucks. There we go, 9,000. Oh, I gotta hold it. Let's see. No, go higher, or I'm not doing this. <sighs> oh my god, doing fine. It's an uneven number, but I don't care. Five geo crystal flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll do it. It's an uneven number, but doing this with a controller sucks. <laughs> Find the three workers. One's here. Tack. A full day of odd jobs at Eugene Terrace. Hmm. No problem. Twenty-five thousand per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of him. Paimon, we're in a whole different country, honey. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. Let's talk prices. Okay, this one says 1500 which was off by a bit. That seems to be the lowest it'll go, so I'll put it at 17 approximately. Oh my god, go faster, not that fast. Fuck it. This price will do. No loss to me for a day's work. Oh my gosh, Youngling, you need to learn prices, my dude. You're gonna go hungry. You're gonna be eating leftover bread scraps and rice for dinner. Tic tac toe. Here we go. Sure. I, Tic, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So, what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Eugene Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. Fetch me 50 tree branches and 20 stacks of timber. No problem. That'll be 20,000 more after a single trip. How does that sound? Done. Let's talk prices. No. This one is like 9,900, so about... 11,000 is what I'm going to lower it to, since my RNG has not been very good. Let me think. Deal. This price is reasonable. I'll hop right to it. Talk to child. Yeah, I can't haggle at a perfect price. Maybe I can, maybe I can just open it and enter it, but it's gonna be a bit of a wonky amount, but whatever. All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next demon is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? 
You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Oh my god, Paimon, no! Huh. Does that mean you know what he's after? We can't crash the economy for our own greed, Paimon. What else could have the Fatui you want? Are you forgetting what happened to Mondstadt? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. I got attacked. I'm allowed to get upset. <laughs> Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. 